Hey, and well met friends, Andang here for another episode of the Epic Story. When we last left off, we just got set out with a great task by Lord Elrond to find all of the rangers within Eriador and bring them to Lord Elrond. Elrond has left Thorinhard and gone into the wilderness of the Trollshaws. I thought to give Radinir a word of our meeting at my father's house, Stefdang, so he would have some expectation of the road ahead. But it seems that he left Thornhad and has gone again into the wilderness of the Trollshaws. He left a few parcels here, so I am sure that he intends to return, but he should be told the message you bear as soon as may be. And my brother have I and my brother have already begun to assemble some of the supplies the Rangers will need as they head south, but it will take some time before they are ready. Speak to Elwyneth by the horses, for she will know where Radinir planned to journey, if any will. Radinir is slow, and slow to laugh and to smile, but in Elwyneth's company I have observed it most frequently. <laughs> okay. Let us talk with her. You are looking for Vadinir, Stapdang? He left not long ago, and he took no horse. The Dunedain will ride when they must, but he has confined to me that he is more comfortable when on foot. Always behind his words to me, as to me was a current of... I do not know how best to say it other than to say that Radinir seemed to always be willing to do, always to be waiting for something, somehow. I wonder if the tidings you bring are those for which he has waited so long. I wonder, too, if they will send him from the Trollshaws, and for how long. I will miss his visits, if this be so, for I will not remain in the, this Middle Earth for much longer. I will not delay your errand, for personal reasons, Stafteng. Radinir spoke to me of his plans. He learned that a war band of orcs from the Edenmoors has established a camp within Lainen, the Lainen Caves here in this Torshaws, and sought to confront them. The Lainen Caves are in the northwest reaches of the Gladef, the wood troll infested marsh of the North Trollshaws. All right, we get to go way up to the north. Yay, travel. All right, we've entered into these caves. Let us talk with the ranger. This is the moment for which the Junadine have prepared. Evergon is my chieftain, and it is my duty to go to his aid, though all dangers of Middle-earth lie between. This is the moment for the Dun which the Dunadine have prepared, and I will not abandon my kin. I have learned that an orc raiding party from the Edenmoors has established a camp within this warren of tunnels, Stafteng. I cannot leave them here unchallenged. Will you brave these caves and deal with these foes? Somewhere deep within this confusing warren is the entrance to the once abandoned tomb of men. If the orcs have found it, that is where the leaders will be. Thornhad is less than a day's march from this place, and I will not suffer these orcs to live that they may threaten what I hold dear. I will make ready to depart, as you have asked, but I will be grateful if you destroy the orcs and their leaders within Lardane tunnels and the ruins that lie at their back. After you have done so, return to Elro here at Thornhad and tell him of your success. The sons of Elrond lost their mother to such a party of orcs. They would not forgive us if we let these foes be. So I have to go all over Middle-earth, but I'm going to spend the time to help this guy out by destroying these orcs. That makes sense. I really do feel like that most of these quests were just busy quests. 
and that's really annoying. I wish that they would have done a little bit better getting creative or something with these, but whatever. What can you do? There we go. Working down these orcs. Doi. That's what he said. Alright. Let's keep moving, Hevel. There are several more orcs. Orcs. <laughs> to dispatch, so let us do just that. And ring of fire. This is not hard at all since I'm 64. What was this quest anyway? 65. Okay. Alright, there's another orc. There we go. Alright, we're one step closer to freeing this cave from the orc filth. pretty linear, which is kind of disappointing. Hardly a warren. There we go. Alright, let's see. Just a few more, and we'll be good to go. Eight out of eight. That's pretty good. Let's see, we still have two more orc leaders and then the leader orc defilers and then the leader of the whole place. Alright. Well, it looks like we're heading up even further. Hopefully the leader is around here somewhere. Quite the cave network through here. But no matter. Do all that stuff. Goodbye, all of you, eventually, once Hairball catches up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll just fight all the three of these here. Kill me. Alright. Where's this leader guy? Hopefully I didn't completely miss this leader guy just because I skipped that one room. That would be annoying. Yeah, I think I might have. I think I might have to go all the way back up. That would be really annoying. Alright, well, I... Oh! The leader! Come on, silly orc. There we go. 
Now we just need one more defiler. Which I thought we already killed. Apparently not. And then we'll be good to go. There we go. And the hairball will clean that up. Alright, well I'm glad I found that leader finally. So let's make our way back to uh, the elf. Alright, elf. You have given Radonir the message? Good. You have given Radonir the message? Good. He will be able to find some others among the Dunedain, if they are to be found within the Chorshars. But now you must travel west to find the others of Aragorn's kin. Alright, so we can get a legacy of vitality, which would be not good, or we can just get mapped straight to the long Kandite is certain to join the Grey Company, but he must first be asked. The Dunedain may be scattered across the wilds of Eriador, but my brother and I know the locations of some few. And from those we will th and from those few will you f learn where the others may be found. The Ranger Canadith was a help to us as we scoured the lands to the south following the rage of the Brunin. We spoke as often as speed would allow on that journey, and he had many interesting tales to tell of the lone lands. You will find his camp there at the base of the Ammon, at the base of Ammon Sul of Weathertop. Tell him that Aragorn has need of his kin. Canadith will be certain to join the Grey Company, for his loyalty to the ch his chieftain cannot be questioned. All right, here we come, Lone Lands. Let's go ahead and map over there and see where this takes us. Hopefully, a decent distance away, because if it's far away, ho 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 ho! If it's far away, we'll have to walk. Which is not fun. So, anyway, let us go and find this person. But first, let's see where this teleports us to. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, we're in the middle of nowhere. Haha, <laughs> it's great. Alright, not as far as I thought. But let's go find this ranger. Alright, Canadath. So, the time has come at last. So ho, the time has come at last to stand with Aragorn, son of Everthorn, my lord and the chieftain of the Dunedain. In my heart I knew the day would come, for as the shadows have lengthened, the need for Aragorn to accept his mantle has become all the more pressing. I have come to love the land between the Forsaken Inn and the Last Bridge, and it will grieve me to leave them behind. But I will do so. I will join the Grey Company and travel south as you have asked. Will I make ready to leave? Will you retrieve a hidden cache of supplies I prepared some time ago? I left a sword and some gloves and a few other supplies northeast of here, atop a small rise called Ekad Sul, in the shade of a tree. Recover this cash, and bring it back to me, for I will have need of it in the lands to the south. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tired of doing everything for these rangers, my goodness. And it just never ends. They're like, hey, guess what? You get to finally do a whole new volume, but uh, the rangers are still in it, and you get to do everything they want you to. <laughs> oh, thank you, Turbine. Just what I wanted. No, but seriously, this is a great storyline. And um, it's just one of those necessities, I guess. But they, they could have had a few less fetch quests here. Uh-oh. What's going on here? An unsavory gentleman stands where you thought to find the hidden cache. Looks like you might be easy pickings. What are you looking at? It seems to me that these lands should be big enough for you to find a path that takes you out of my sight, little man. 
Orkstolog follows your gaze and smirks. <laughs> you like this sword? Found it, I did. And these gloves and a few choice other items. Sometimes you find these little caches in the wild. Left by rangers, I suspect. Easy pickings, if you ask me. Looks like you might be easy pickings, too. I'll be taking your gear and your coins, friend. Without a fight or with one. It's all the same to me. You're a creepy one. Oh, wow, you are easy, buddy. Oak Stolog falls. Is robbery a failure? And you retrieve Canadice goods. Well, that was easy enough. Hopefully there's not like eight other tasks that he wants to do. Why did I pick the goat? I have a perfectly fine festive steed, which, you know, is great for the anniversary, which is coming up. So, you know, it's perfect for that, but, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I chose the goat. Oh, well. The goat doesn't get picked often enough. It's probably like the ring. The goat chose me. I'm pleased to have these items back. Thank you. I, I would be willing to part with the contents of the cash, Stafteng. Items hidden in the wild, once found, should go to their finders. But once Orc Stolog sought to use my items to rob you, as far as I am concerned, he gave up his right to use them. I am pleased you have them back. Thank you. There's a cooldown on these maps, are you kidding? <sighs> I guess we'll take this one. We will have need of Cyrodon's calming wisdom on the road south. You should next bring your message to Sardang in Breland. He is more settled than the others of my kin, but no less vital to the part of the Grey Company. We will have need of Sardang's calming wisdom on the road south. For though we have need of haste, so too do we need to keep our wits about us. Too often can be, can the hasty road lead to carelessness. Sardane will help prevent this. I hate it when it does that. Look for him at his cabin near the town of Bree in Breeland. Go figure. He lives east of Thorley's worksite. You know, the one that's endlessly in construction. In the northern Bree fields. Canadith gives you a wistful smile. Canadith gives you a witsful smile. It is true. We do not know what we will find as we ride south. I look out over these lone lands and wonder what will happen to them when we have gone. But this is something we must do. Each of us has sworn an oath to Aragorn, our chief, and none of us will break that oath. We know the risks. None of us would join the Grey Company if we felt its errand was not important enough to brave those risks. For my part, I will do, I will not give in to fear of the unknown. We all have our role to play, and I hope only that when I have played mine, the world will have been better for my being in it. Having been being in it. Whatever. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. When we return, we will be in Breland, hopefully finding the next person who needs to be found. The next ranger. But, uh, till then, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. So, till next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.